what's up? Video Fort John here, bringing you the sixth installment on the Pac-Man training series. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So we're gonna go into our assets. We're gonna grab our board and characters PNG and drag it into our game board comp. Sweet. From there, we're gonna right click on it and choose to pre-compose. Gonna leave all attributes in the game comp like we have been this whole series. We're gonna say okay. And then we'll double click on our board and characters comp. And actually, let's go back to the game board and rename this to Ghost. Ooga booga 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 booga. And we'll also go up to here and name it Ghost so that it doesn't get mixed up with anything else. Go ahead and double click on that again. We're going to focus on these guys over here. We're going to put a mask over each one of the ghosts, the blue ones and the white ones. And these are going to be our power-up ghost. So let's go up to our rectangle tool. And we will put a mask around the first ghost. Now, I'm going to leave you guys here. Go ahead and put a mass around the rest of them. I think we remember how to do that. Just do a duplicate on that. Drop down this guy. And, oops, drop down the mask. And just move that dude right on over. Boom. All right, continue on from here. I will join back up with you after you have the ghost masked and lined up on top of each other. Okay, so I've got that finished up. I've positioned my ghost on top of each other. Now I've got the blue ghost on top, white ghost on bottom, and you see, oops, I actually named that guy incorrectly. You see I've named the ghost by their color B, which is blue, and G means ghost. Three for the number of legs they've had, and I messed up on this guy. He's got four legs, so we'll go ahead and rename that right now to BG4. Same thing for the white ghosts. They've got three and four, and that's so that they can do their walking thing. All right. And I've even set up the initial animations, so I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now. So let's go ahead and go to our game board. And we're going to focus on the third pellet power-up. Like I said, I've gotten the red guy to do his animation, so he's going to flash when he needs to and all that on two of the power-ups. And let's go ahead and focus on the final power-up for the red guy, Blinky. So we are going to bring down Pac-Man's position. So we'll select Pac-Man and press P. And then from there, we're going to scrub. Looks like just right here is before he gets the power up. Let's click through a few times. And right there seems like a good time to start his power up because he's covering that pellet pretty much completely right there. So we're gonna go into our ghost layer and we'll go ahead and highlight all of these. Press the letter T to bring up our opacity values. And we're gonna set a keyframe on each one of these. So we'll set one here. And since we have it all highlighted, it sets a keyframe for all of them. Now we'll scrub one frame forward and we're gonna deselect these and we're gonna focus on white ghost four and we're gonna bring that up to 100%. And then we'll go one forward, just one keyframe forward. And let's go ahead and zoom into our keyframe so we can see these a little better. And I use the uh, comp navigator up here to do that. Or, excuse me, the time navigator. All right, so we've got our comp or our uh, opacity value set here. Let's go ahead and set. 0% one more time up here for our uh, blue guys. I'll move one keyframe forward. All right, now we've already set opacity values for the other ghosts. To get him to flash, we're just gonna bring up the blue ghost three 100%. Then we're gonna go forward three keyframes, one, two, three and we'll bring it down to zero. It looks like I didn't get that very first one to 100. We're off, so I'll just go on 100. And then from there, we'll go another three, one, two, three. Bring it back up to 100. And one, two, three. 
and bring it down to zero. All right, so we've got our flashing set. So now he flashes blue, white, blue, white, blue, white. Then we'll go one more forward, actually. Then we'll set our blue four keyframe once. We'll go one forward, bring up our BG4 to 100%. And we're going to focus on BG3. Now we'll just go over to Blinky, go down to his D3 opacity values, and find a set when he's at 100%. So we'll be looking over here at his opacity for 100%. And this one looks good, so let's zoom into those keyframes. We're going to select a set of, we'll just select up to there, do Command C. And we'll go on to our ghost. And on the BG, we'll do Command B to paste them. And now we've got our ghost walking. And the great thing is, to get him flashing again, we're just going to highlight these values. Actually, we'll highlight starting at the 100%. And do another Command-C. And Command-V that. And we just need to set a keyframe here in our BG4. Move forward a frame. Drop that down to 0%. Now we've got our flash out. All right, sweet. So. Now you know how to make the ghost flash. Once you have this done, the cool thing is, is the keyframes set in this timing are going to be the exact same timing for your Pinky, Clyde, Inky, and Blinky. So what you'll do is you'll go to the beginning, the very beginning. We can highlight all these guys and make the menu smaller. We'll highlight them. Do copy. So Command C if you're on a Mac, Control C if you're on a PC or something else. I don't know what else you'd be on. And then you can just paste them right into here. Now you're going to have to reposition them probably if uh, they're not positioned correctly, but then you can just scrub through and you're going to have to bring down your ghost, but that's going to be a quick, easy way. to get all your guys flashing at the same time that they need to be. So we'll go ahead and do the same for Pinky. Now, I've already set up Clyde's and Blinky's because they've also got the eyes. And I'm going to show you guys how to uh, do the ghost when they get eaten by Pac-Man. They go to an eyeball mode and kind of like a skeleton. So I'm going to show you guys that one in another tutorial. But now if we go over to our game and we fit it, let's go ahead and RAM preview this and you can kind of see the ghosts in action. All right, boom, and they turn into ghosts. So cool. And they go out. They go into ghost again. All right, so like I said in the next tutorial, I'm going to be covering how to get them to turn into those eyeballs. Boom, spooky, spooky. Then after that, I'll have points light up afterwards too so stay tuned for that next one make sure to hit subscribe over to the right there and uh, go to videofort.com check out some awesome stock footage over there that we got just waiting for you guys to do some cool stuff too all right have a great one guys later